people of God. The video stopped at 1 Samuel 10 and 18. So God delivered the children of Israel by the hand uh, out of the hand of the Egyptians, out of all the hand of all the kingdoms and of them that oppressed them, right? So by the hand of who? By Moses. So he wants me to let you know how this, like about Zion, a little bit, the land. Doctrine and Covenants 133 and 4. Wherefore, prepare ye, prepare ye, O my people, sanctify yourselves. That's what this is referenced in, in Joel. Gather yourself, not, sanctify yourselves. Gather you together, O ye people of my church, upon the land of Zion, all you that have not been commanded to tarry. All right? And Doctrine and Covenants 29 and 2. Who will gather his people even as a hen gathers her chicken under her wings? This is what God's going to do. Even as many as will hearken to my voice and humble themselves before me and call upon me in mighty prayer. So those are who God's going to save. Those who humble themselves before him and call upon him in mighty prayer. All right. And um, Doctrine and Covenants 109 and 39 and whatsoever city thy servant shall enter, and the people of that city receive their testimony, let thy peace and thy salvation be upon that city, that they may gather out of that city the righteous, that they may come forth to Zion and to her stakes, the places of thy appointment with songs of everlasting joy. All right? Doctrine and Covenants 125 and 2. Verily, thus says the Lord, I say unto you, if those who call themselves by my name and are essaying to be my saints, so essaying, you're working, you're doing work, you're learning, you're studying, you're essaying to be my saints, if they will do my will and keep my commandments concerning them, let them gather themselves together unto the place which I shall appoint unto them. Where did God appoint? He appointed that they may gather out of the city the righteous that may come forth to Zion or to her stakes the places of thy appointment with songs of everlasting joy. Now, let them gather themselves together unto the place which I shall appoint unto them by my servant. He, you get it? Now, Doctrine and Covenants 45 and 25. But they shall be gathered again, but they shall remain until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled, until their iniquity be poured out. Now, in Doctrine and Covenants 101 and 13, and they that have been scattered shall be gathered. Now, let's go back here. God's arm, God's mighty hand. Psalms 136 and 11 and brought out Israel from among them for his mercy endures forever with a strong hand and with a stretched out arm for his mercy endures forever when he saved them out of Egypt. Now Luke 1 and 51 he has shown strength with his arm he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Isaiah 53 and 1 who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Isaiah 33 and 2. O Lord, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee. Be thou their arm every morning. Our salvation also is in the time of trouble. Right? So who is the arm of the Lord? Who is the arm of the Lord? We're going to go down here. Um, why did it do that? Forgive me. I'm just going to go arm of the Lord because it, for some reason, is like that scripture is not there. Forgive me, people of God. That's the work of the enemy. Awake, O arm of the Lord. Here it is. I'm just going to do it. Oh, here it is. 
Isaiah 51 and 9. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in ancient days, in the generations of old. Are thou not it that has cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? The arm of the Lord is daughter Zion, right? She is the arm of the Lord. That is who God's going to use and and deliver the children of Israel. And he brought forth among them for his mercy endures forever. Now, who has believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Isaiah 33 and 2, O Lord, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee. Be thou their arm every morning. Our salvation also in the time of trouble. Deuteronomy 7 and 8. But because the Lord loved you and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, he has, the Lord, brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. How did he do that with Moses and Aaron? How was he going to deliver them out of Babylon by the daughter of Zion? Doctrine, I mean, Deuteronomy 9 and 26. I prayed therefore unto the Lord and said, O Lord God, destroy not thy people and thy inheritance, which thou has redeemed through thy greatness, which thou has brought forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand. Exodus 15 and 6, Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed in pieces thy enemy. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. Now, I'm going to go here before I read Psalms. Isaiah 40 and 10, Behold, the Lord will come with strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. Didn't he tell daughter Zion, Rule in the midst of thy enemies? Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Now it's talking about her strong arm. Psalms 89 and 20, 21. With whom my hand shall be established, my arm also shall strengthen him. Isaiah 62 and 8. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies. And thy sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine for the which thou hast labored. Isaiah 52 and 10. The Lord has made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations. Isn't she an ensign to all the nations? And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. The arm of the Lord. Are you, he is going to use that woman to save his people isaiah 48 and 14 all ye assemble yourselves and hear which among them has declared these things the lord has loved him he will do his pleasure on babylon and his arm shall be upon the chaldeans his arm shall be upon the chaldeans sit thou and sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. God's arm is going to be on the Chaldeans. Sit thou in silence, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Now, a week, a week. Let's do this again. Awake, awake, put on strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For from henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the un unclean. Daughter of Babylon dethroned daughter of zion rethroned awake awake stand up o jerusalem come down and sit on the dust o virgin daughter of babylon sit on the ground there is no throne o daughter of the chaldeans god is coming to judge them why the lord has loved him he will do his pleasure on babylon and his arm shall be upon the chaldeans Psalm 77 and 15, Thou hast with thy arm redeemed thy people. 
the sons of Jacob and Joseph, Selah. Now, Deuteronomy 26 and 8. And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and with a stretched out arm, and with great terribleness, and with signs and with wonders. Song of Solomon 6 and 10. Who is she? Daughter Zion, that looks forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, and terrible as an army with banners. Why? Because she's going to arise and thrust and beat in pieces many people. Those women who keep saying those scriptures, it's not about them. It's about one woman. God never rose them up to do that. This is what he rose daughter Zion up to do. They keep saying it like it's for them. It's not. Isaiah 28 and 2. Behold, the Lord has a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hail and a destroying storm, as a flood of mighty waters overflowing, shall cast down to the earth with the hand. The, Psalms 89 and 10. Her strong arm. Thou hast broken Rahab in pieces as one that is slain. Thou hast scattered thy enemies with thy strong arm. Thou has a mighty arm, strong is thy hand, and high is thy right hand. Talking about daughter Zion. God always uses his people to save his people. 2 Samuel 3 and 18. Now then do it, for the Lord has spoken of David, saying, By the hand of my servant David, I will save my people Israel out of the hand of the Philistines and out of the hand of of all their enemies. This is who he's using. Sion. Isaiah 51 and 9. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in ancient days, in the generations of old. Are thou not it that has cut Rahab and wounded the dragon? Rahab is her mistress. Rahab slept with her husband. Luke 12 and 32. Fear not, little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Rahab the whorlet. She never stopped being a whorlet. Alright, so that's what God wants you to know. He's going to save and gather the children of Israel by his hand. Now, a little bit more about his hand. Land covenanted unto those led out of other countries by the hand of the Lord. That is in two Nephi. 1 and 15. I'm just going to go through cross references. Doctrine and covenants 97 and 19. And the nations of the earth shall honor her and shall say, Surely Zion is the city of our God, and surely Zion cannot fall, neither be moved out of her place. For God is there, and the hand of the Lord is there. The hand of the Lord. Now we're going to keep going. None shall come into the land save they who were brought by the hand of the Lord. Okay, that's in 2 Nephi 1 and 6 and Omni 1 and 6. All right. No, I'm going to... Um, I'm just going to cross-reference. Prophecies delivered to fathers by the hand of the Lord. So... Um, I'm just cross-referencing. Give me a second. I just want to get the right scripture for you. God is displeased with those who confess not his hand is in all things. The heavens and earth are in the Lord's hand. None can stay the Lord's hand. Now, the hand of the Lord is in Zion. This is the cross-reference I was looking for. Doctrine and Covenants 97 and 19. Right? The Lord stretch forth thy hand. Saints' enemies are in the hand of the Lord because he does his pleasure unto them. And I hope this helped you. And you can definitely, you know, I tell you, take everything up I say with fasting. Oh, that salvation of Israel will come out of Zion when the Lord brings back the captivity of his people. Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. Beautiful people of God, please take this up with fasting. And this, oh, I don't want to miss this scripture. Oh, forgive me. I have to talk about New Jerusalem, right? And they shall assist my people, the remnant of Jacob, and also 
as many of the house of Israel as shall come. They're going to come to where Zion that they may build a city which shall be called the new Jerusalem. And then shall they assist my people that they may be gathered in who are scattered among all the face of the land in, in onto the new Jerusalem. And then shall the power of heaven come down among them. And I also will be in the midst of them. New Jerusalem. Stay blessed, beautiful people of God. And please take this up with fasting and praying.